But what we're talking about today is the, uh, we're talking about judgment and the lake of fire. Because if I don't get this out now, then it'll be a long time before I say this again. <clears throat> Hell itself is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. You're going out of the frying pan into the fire. It gets worse. It's a hundred thousand times worse than going to hell. I was standing there and I was looking out and I could see like um, it was like a light light smoke. So it wasn't dark. It was like a light so it was a haze. But it was very light. I could see it. <clears throat> and I thought I was seeing something from a distance. And uh, then it started to move. I was on a platform. The platform started to move forward. And I realized I was standing behind a transparent, like a glass barrier. And I moved forward and it stopped. I'm on the platform. And I looked and there were people. They were lined up side by side as far as you could see. As far as I could see back. And as far as I could see to the left, as far as I could see to the right, they were lined up side by side. And they had their hands up and their mouths open. They were screaming, but I couldn't hear them. They were screaming in terror, but I couldn't hear them, but I could see them. And then I looked, the flames came up to about almost to their waist. But you know how fire goes up, like they say, the fire licks. The, 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 the fire was going up chest high and their skin was melting but it didn't come off, it bubbled, their skin bubbled it's like, um, well, you've seen things that bubble mm -hmm. this, their skin was bubbling it was boiling, it was bubbling but it didn't fall off and the people were screaming and there were these creatures they were as big as, you know, they were as big as a dog, bigger, as a good-sized dog. But they were like black bumblebees, and they were flying, and they had these stingers, and the stingers looked like they were about two feet long. And there was three of these things around each person, all the way down, all the way back, and two of them would stingers when they put their hands up and screamed, they would, the stingers, they would stick them through their hands. And the people would scream some more. And then when they opened their mouth to scream, the third creature would stick the stinger in their mouth. They would stick it all the way in their mouth, and then they would scream more. And they, they moved like, it was like, almost like a cartoon with precision. They moved, the, 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 the creatures, they, they moved. The, the one that stung you in the left hand would move to your mouth, sting you in your mouth. Then it would move to your right hand, and it would move to the next person. So they moved like that. And the people just screamed, and their skin bubbled. But they wouldn't, the skin wouldn't fall off. And they just, they were just there. <clears throat> and I looked at that, and I, I couldn't believe it. And then all of a sudden, whap! One of those black things hit the, hit, the, hit the front of the glass where I was standing. He was trying to attack me. Whap! And I stepped back. And the angel said to me, these things will attack anything here. And I knew that's where Satan was going. And the death angel who I, 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 I pray to God I get to see him thrown in. I hate that sucker. But I, I realized what they're going to go through and that this was meant for them. This was never meant for humans. It was meant for the devil and his angels. The punishment is bad enough to punish an angel. It's bad enough. That's hell. And the lake of fire is bad enough to punish one of the chief angels, which Satan was when he was Lucifer. The punishment had to be bad enough to punish a chief angel. It is absolutely horrible. And the platform started to move back. And, uh, the angel, excuse me, the angel was serious. 
He said, tell him. Tell him, don't come here. You, <laughs> excuse me. Okay. You tell him, don't come here. I realize this is the final, this is the final judgment and the final place for all who don't accept Jesus as Christ. There's no way around it. Like we say on the street, don't get it twisted. There's no place else to go. If you don't go to him, you go there. God doesn't want you there. God wants you with him, but he has no choice. If you will follow Satan, if you don't follow Jesus, you're following Satan. Mm -hmm. And you will go where Satan is going. If you follow Jesus, you'll go where he's going. But if you follow, if you don't follow him, you're following Satan. You're going to go where Satan goes. And you're going to get the same punishment that was planned for him. God help you. Don't play with this thing. Do what's right. You need Jesus now. Ask him to save you now.